Joanna Lumley, thank you so much for your time today. It's your first time at Chaw Valley History Festival. What are your first impressions? Dazzling. I'm just completely blown away. To come down gradually over the hill and see the festival spread out, the tents, then to drive through a sort of medieval village with a lot of clanging and old boiling things and stuff and people walking with sort of cloths in their heads and suddenly somebody walks past in full uniform, a halberdier from a completely different century. You round the corner and you're in World War I yeah. and then there's an old Riley or something. I mean, the whole thing is... It's utterly thrilling. We've been blessed with perfect weather wow, too. Absolutely. Yeah. And you've been a judge on the Chalk Valley History Festival History Prize. Yes. I mean, were you impressed, dazzled by the by the standard of these students? I was one of several judges, and we were all absolutely taken aback. I mean, we didn't get to read all the entries, mm. but the ones that we read for the final, for the short list, and then for the very short list, and then finally for the winners, I was absolutely taken aback. They were it's set into two groups: eleven to fourteen, and then fifteen to eighteen. Um, they showed such imagination. What I loved most of all was that each, each of the, for the finalists had really jumped into the character of the person they were writing. Um, and so they brought in facts. They'd obviously done a great deal of research, which they didn't drag like the log of plot across yeah. the stage. They didn't go, look how clever I am. They managed, in the winning ones particularly, just to have uh, wrapped it around so it seemed completely easy. So is that what you were looking for? <clears throat> That's what I was looking yeah. for because I read an awful lot. I write as well, but I read a lot, lot, lot. And I was sitting with really distinguished authors. Um, and we all agree that you've got to want to read on somehow the writing has got to catch you. The only way you can do that is somehow by it coming alive like a creature in your hand on the page. It comes alive and it takes you. Your mind immediately flips into it. Yeah. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a great skill. It's something that you can master. If you've got a gift, nurture it, yeah. nurture it. I mean, did you write when you were younger? Of course I did, yes. Yeah. And I, happily to say, I won sort of competitions and things like that but my sister was a better writer than I was but that's because we were both brought up reading 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 we read and because I've been of an age when we didn't have television so you never watch sat and watch television and because I was brought up uh, far away we didn't have wirelesses I was in the far east yeah. you didn't have radios or wirelesses <clears throat> so you relied on telling each other stories um, listening to stories being read aloud to you and reading yourself. Yeah. So, uh, alongside the other judges, was it a unanimous decision or was there. We all had debates? contenders, no, not furious, but because we were t incredibly elegant and we we're so subtle and frankly so old and crazed with sort of age that we actually just put forward ideas largely. We all agreed absolutely on the on the two finalists, okay. which was which was exciting. And they're now uh, talking with publishers from Penguin. Hopefully. Isn't that something oh, to be published at that age? Really it's, thrilling. It's I mean, brilliant. seventeen and fourteen or something. It's amazing. And two girls too. That was interesting. Mm. Well, I must mention um, your acting career. Uh, fantastic, glittering career. As when you prepare for your roles, uh, you've done a number in sort of varying historical periods. What sort of preparation do you do? What sort of research to get into these periods to really immerse yourself? The last historical play I did was two years ago, and it was The Lion in Winter, okay, yeah. playing Eleanor of Aquitaine, of course, is a real character. So I read up a lot about her, a lot, 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 and Trevor Nunn, who directed it, we had a sort of two-day master history class about that entire time which was completely fascinating because it was a bit of a damp patch in my history and I thought, kind of Richard, kind of John, can't quite remember, you know, yeah. kind of. Um, so suddenly to get that clear in your mind, but what you cannot do as an actor is play something that isn't on the page. So if it's not written down, it doesn't matter if you knew that Anne Boleyn ate eggs for breakfast. If it's not written down, you can't display it. So don't waste your breath reading everything you can, yeah. which then isn't in the book or the story that you're representing. Sure. So we are advocates, actors, we are lawyers, we, are, um, we, are, we bring our protagonists to the front and present them to the viewer or the reader or the audience in some way. But all we have is the sticks and stones we're given with. Can Lads, end? keep it down. There's a little fanfare waiting for me later. I'll take you into lunch. <laughs> just to finish, oh, and, and, and more. <clears throat> um, just to finish, uh, you just finished filming, um, well, I think, Last year, maybe the Wolf of Wall Street. Yes, very early this year. Wolf, Wolf of Wall Street, Wall Street. Yeah. And how was it working alongside Scorsese? To Scorsese, what a giant! He's a tiny man and a giant. We yeah. all admire him so much. He's sure. he's an encyclopedia of filmic knowledge. Yeah. He knows everything. And I suppose set in the 1990s, so you didn't <clears throat> really need too much. No, no, no. And also, but it was a land. It was a world I know nothing about and didn't have to because my character was an Englishwoman. True story, it mm. is. An Englishwoman who smuggled money 
for her son-in-law, who is the wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Belfort, played by Leonardo DiCaprio, um, who is, I was thrilled to meet because I've admired um, DiCaprio's acting since he was a little boy. And I was so pleased to meet such a professional and charming man. He was delightful, modest, humorous, good-natured, non-starry, everything you wish for if you're going to work with somebody. Well, I can't wait for the film. Joanna, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much indeed.